Hello friends. In today's video, I'm going to showcase DAX function called last known blank value. In this video, uh, I will showcase how a problem, a question posted on Power BI Community Forum was solved using last known blank value. First, we look at the question and then we will go through the solution and how the, the problem is being solved. Let's get to Power BI and take a look. Here is the question uh, where a user has a product region dimension and effect. Uh, the main um, problem is like in, in January 2021, X and it changed Y in April, the price of a product is changed. And then in August. So in the fact table, as there are only three records for the changes, um, now the, the question is actually what user want is um, if a, a user select a year and a product, he, it only, the user will only see the records when there is a record in fact table. Uh, what he wanted to see is to show the last price for the month until the next change comes in. So basically, let's say if a price is changed in June, January, and the next record is in August. So between all the months, between January and August, show all the months with the January price. And then when August there's a price change, and let's say there's another price change in December, and there is no record in September, October, November, then show those three months with the August price um, same time. So uh, th th this, this was a, a nice little problem. So the solution for this was, I'm going back to Power BI here. Uh, this is the same, the user provided the Power BI file, which is, uh, which is always good to work with. Otherwise, it's very, very hard to create the sample data. And before I go to the solution, uh, let's look at the uh, how uh, the report look like without the solution. So what we have is a month on, um, I think it's using the date hierarchy from month year table. I'm not going into, you know, optimizing the model and all this stuff, but I'm more focused on the DAX function. Um, so month on um, x-axis and then region on uh, our um, legend and then the sum unit is just the uh, sum of the unit column. As you can see, uh, user selected product A, year 2021, and uh, there is a January, there's a price change for all these uh, regions, and then April, there's no price change in February, March, and then one region has a price change in uh, June, and the other one has in August. So now the ask here is, like whatever the missing months are, fill those with the, uh, the last price, and in this, in this case, there's a, like all these four will prices for this region will show in February, March, and in April, uh, there is a price change for three regions, but there's no price change for this yellow region, which is West. So there will be 102 for, um, for the West in, in April and, and so forth, so on. Um, so let's look at the um, code of what I did. Actually, maybe we will, we will write the code and um, and then go step by step what each line of the code is doing. I created a duplicate page of the original page and um, put the visual in a, a matrix view. It's easy to see that uh, uh, the action here. So month is on, on rows and uh, region is on the columns and this is what the price look like right now. And uh, if we, let's start working with the measure. What first, first we'll, let's look at the last known blank value, why we need to use that. So last known blank value will give based on a column as in a first parameter, and it will return the value of the, the measure we give in the last known blank value as a second parameter value. So given the context, given the filter context, so let's first look at that. If we simply put like last known blank value here, so where the last known blank value is, uh, we are looking at the month, year name, that's the column user is using, and then the measure we're looking at some unit. So if I just write this measure and drop it in my 
let's remove some unit so we get the same value what it was because it is looking in the context of January the last known blank value for January is within the January and that's what it is giving us so it's pretty much returning what the sum unit was so nothing fancy happened until this point now what we need to do is we need to expand our scope because we, we don't want to see when we are in a January row that we want to see the last known blank of January so for example if we January we are in February we want to see the last known blank value before this period so what was the last known blank value before this period to do so we have to expand our filter contacts so what we will do is so last known blank value so what we need to do is get all the rows from our uh, month year dimension uh, and then what we want to do is where month year date name actually that's the column user is using is less than because we want to we want to go before in the row context where we are before it so if we are in April we want to go back in um, uh, January or oh, uh, sorry in any any dates before uh, April and in this case so what would be maximum of um, okay so let's see what does this do so if we change this so now as you can see uh, before that we did not have a February March Um, now we're not seeing January for whatever reason, but let's look in that why. But now we are seeing okay in February what was the last known blank value, and in March what was the last. The reason why we are not seeing in January because there is nothing before that and there is no known blank value, so that's why the January is not showing for anything. But here in February whatever the last known blank value was, which was a January value, came up, and as we move forward, so we are getting the last known blank value for each month based on the um, previous months from that so when we are in November we it is checking the last known blank value before November whatever the last value was we cannot use max because if we use the max maybe in February the value was 105 and in July it is 100 and 102 the max will then return our February uh, value so that's why we'll be using the last known blank value. So when there was when was the last known blank value? Give us that in context of that particular column, with what we gave in our function. So, so this is working as expected. Now the, the the other part of this is if there is a there is a value in a month, then we don't need to get the last known blank value because then there is a transaction. If there is a transaction in a month then a price is in a month then give us the price of that month uh, if that is blank then give us the price of the last known blank so what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to take uh, uh, advantage of call as function and what we're going to do here is if my sum unit which is a base my year if it is blank then give me the last known blank value otherwise give me this value right so that that's what this function is supposed to do so now we see the january as well and this is working as expected so january there's a 100 110 112 102 dollar value and in february it's filling up and using the last known blank value so wherever there is an actual value in the table we are getting the actual value from the table and when there is no value in the table we are getting the last known blank value so now if we go back and uh, <clears throat> um, change our measure here uh, visual here so this is the original visual how the data is it is representing the data and now in this one what we're doing is the same thing but instead of that I'm gonna use a unit price fixed measure and now, as you can see, in January, 100, 100, 1300, 2, uh, the same data, 104, 1216. In February, there was no record. So we are getting the January's data here and March data here in April. There is a data, 104, 112, 116, but there's no data for the West region. 
and then we are getting the last value which is 102 which was back in January and it keep on going um, so forth so on in like in June we have 120 uh, so we're getting the blue 120 as the actual value for June but for the other three regions we are getting um, uh, the last value. Um, I hope um, you found how last known blank value function can be very handy. Uh, sometimes people use uh, when they change the filter contacts, they take the minimum or maximum value, which could produce a wrong result because not necessarily your last value will be the maximum value. You no, know, the changes can be the max or min can be anywhere during the period. But if your requirement is to get the most recent value, the last value, uh, non-blank value then this is uh, one of the DAX function which can help you. Um, I will be doing few more videos on certain questions I recently solved on Power BI Community Forum. Stay tuned, subscribe to my channel and do let me know what you think about this function and uh, if this can be handy for you guys in your, in your reporting needs and uh, uh, maybe become handy for you. Until next video, have a good day. Bye for now.